Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing good and well. If you're brand new here, my name is Nikki. Thanks so much for tuning in today. And in this video, we are gonna be talking about our Halloween picks. This is another collab with the usual suspects you're gonna find down in the description box below. This is my first time participating in a Halloween collab, so I'm super excited because I love, love Halloween and I love October. It is my favorite month of the year, not just for this holiday, but just because Thanksgiving happens here in Canada and it's fall getting into cooler weather what is not to love about this time of year except if you get snow early like we do that's not to love but that hasn't arrived yet hope it doesn't run anytime soon so I am gonna be swatching on my right thumb today because my left thumb did suffer a break but you know what I thought maybe I should swatch on my smaller nails sometimes because that's also really nice too I just think uh, polishes look better or they pre present themselves better when they're on longer nails but that's just my opinion so I usually keep my picks to 10 and I think these I went for kind of like a light-hearted vibe with the first five and then I went into the more grungier witchier vibes for the last five so let's just get into these picks <laughs> First up, we have Cuticula's Flames of a Phoenix. And looking at this one, you wouldn't really think it is a Halloween polish, but that's what I like about it. It's very obscure, and that's why I wanted to include it on this rack. Instead of that blood red kind of color we're looking for this time of year, it's more of a fall brick red. So I think it falls in between a nice mix of a Halloween polish. And I'm... You know this might be a little bit of a stretch but this was intended to be kind of a mermaid collection and i mean a mermaid halloween polish you guys i'm i'm here for it i'm all about those flakies they're totally giving kind of evil mermaid vibes which would be a cool costume don't you think <laughs> but i do love this color combo and can't wait to get this on Next, we have China Glaze's Payback's a Witch. I want to say this came out in a Halloween collection that came out three or four years ago now. That collection was pretty sparse, but this polish gives me <laughs> those China Glaze gold fleck or silver fleck uh, glass vibes that they put out in the 2009 Summer Days collection, which Strawberry Fields came out in that collection. So this one is kind of giving me like the orange vibe of that one, and it's perfect for Halloween so beautiful it kind of reminds me of a glowing jack-o-lantern a little bit so i think adding a, a black flaky polish on top of this would give it more of a halloween look but on its own it's absolutely beautiful it covers <laughs> really nicely in two coats and i just love when china glaze does these black fleck glass fleck polishes they're just something that they need to do again i think third up is cadillacers poltergeist now this one is definitely the halloween nail polish combo of my dreams i first saw this color combo come out in a nail polish that cuticula released but i didn't end up picking up that one oh but when cadillacer came out with this one in the halloween collection a few years ago i knew i wanted it immediately because it made me think of that cuticula polish this is gorgeous and you guys know i love cadillacer and their glitter combos this one only has one glit glitter polish so it's not such an intricate combo but the color contrast and the payoff is just this is so it and it's so halloween and i like that it's neon i'm getting into more neons i can't believe i just said that i said i liked neons you guys <laughs> your color chase change you know but this is just so beautiful i love this Next, we have Enchanted Polishes Sci-Fi. I believe this came out in a Star Wars duo or trio. I'm not too sure. Or maybe it was for the... Yeah. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. It's definitely Star Wars. Oh, man. This color combo is absolutely gorgeous. And it screams Halloween, you guys. That mustardy jelly base. Oh, the black glitter is just pop out in this so well it reminds me of mustard with like pepper and salt in it with those additional uh silver micro micro flakes in it so beautiful i'm loving more and more micro flex and polishes because i love galaxy nail art and when that little addition of it is in polishes it just gives the polish that extra oomph so this one is definitely going on my nails this month it's breathtaking 
Next, we have an unnamed polish for days. This is just called Black Friday Gift with Purchase 2022. I got this in my polish for days order because I did reach um the order that um you need the threshold that you need to reach to get the polish and this is so pretty i didn't expect it to have such a purpley blackened base it's almost like a purple eggplant color i want to say and a lot of black is in there and the golden green just pop like i said with the additional micro flakes man this kind of color contrast is just really catching my eye this year. I haven't worn a lot of them, but every time I see them at a ball, I just pick them up. And I think this is another kind of mermaidy evil <laughs> serpent polish. This is so good. I love it. Next, we have Starly's Artemis. And this is a forest green polish with a beautiful, beautiful golden orangey brown shimmer. I was initially going to put this on my fall rack in place of the bees knees lacquer that I chose but this one I think is just so brooding for this time of year these are the kind of polishes that we see from <laughs> September to the end of November and I think this is just so beautiful for Halloween it's giving me more <laughs> serpent mermaid vibes but also witchy forest vibes so it's definitely another following pick that I and just cannot resist <laughs> that shimmer in there is just something else i think this would look really really good with some gold accents too because also double has a christmas polish but this is definitely festive for halloween absolutely next we have zoya's adina and this one is giving me more alien witchy vibes which i am loving so my ac application is going to be just uh, not, <laughs> it's not a doozy <laughs> with this brush, but I mean, Zoya's shimmers are actually quite interesting and very, very strong. I didn't expect this one to be so prominent on my nails because it's a mainstream and you know, I don't have high hopes when it comes to their shimmers, I won't lie. But yeah, this one definitely, definitely is screaming Halloween to me. That color contrast is screaming, screaming an indie polish to me. And while those brush strokes are very prominent, so is the shimmer. And that's all I'm seeing here. Definitely uh, alien vibes. Love this one. Next, we have Wildflower Lacquers Ironic, and this is an old school Wildflower Lacquers, you can tell by the square bottle. It's when Taylor's first released in her creations, and this one is giving me another witchy purple vibe. I have a few purples on here, and these are just kind of the shades I was gravitating towards, and I love the mix of the flakies in there. They range from like a lime green to pink to blue, a bit of orange. This is definitely a kitchen sink polish. Now, while this applies really, really well, um, I can still see my nail line on the third coat. So I do want to go in with a third one to, you know, get that full coverage. And I think these kind of purples are perfect to wear when your nails are almond shape because it kind of gives that witchy vibe and it's very, very Halloween. So festive. I am in love with this one. And this has been an untried for way, way too long. So definitely going to get this on my nails for October. Next, we have one that came out in April's PPU. It was, the theme was flowers, and this is a flower I've never heard of. It's a uh, corpse flower, and apparently it smells like a rotting corpse. I'm not sure. I saw a picture of it, and I was like, that is the biggest flower I've ever seen. <laughs> but this polish is so beautiful. This is one of those dual chromes that actually dual chromes if you guys know what i mean this is just so unbelievably pretty those flakies in there i usually don't like flakies that are sparse especially in the duochrome because you want to kind of see the duochrome come back come out more but the addition of those flakies in there are just beautiful and like i said i like the fact that they're not jam-packed for once just because i really want to see that duochrome with that a little addition of a peekaboo of flakies and this is just a perfect delivery on that Last but not least, we have one of my favorite picks. This is KB Shimmer's Band Geek. I'm not sure when this polish originally came out, but I purchased this when I first got into indies. Oh man, this came back as a most requested for uh, one of KB Shimmer's polishes. And as you can see why, 
it is gorgeous this one is in a black jelly base and it is loaded with an amount just an array of beautiful glitters uh, kind of like a rock and roll polish i think it goes really really well with the name as well and this is how this is my favorite pick for halloween oh, when i saw it, I, I just thought fall but it's definitely just a Halloween polish. It's grungy, it's beautiful, it's gothic, and if you're not a fan of just black nail polishes, this polish is perfect for you. <laughs> Love this. I just can't get enough of this. Definitely one of my top picks, and I haven't worn this polish in about three years now. It does have a fill line, but it's beautiful. So in a watch wheel, I want to show you guys my picks. I'm loving every single one of them and they are definitely all going to go on my nails all right guys that was it for these 10 halloween picks i really like this lineup i've been thinking you know i am one of those people that plans like my halloween picks in april in spring because that's six months to october so i mean you got to plan ahead and that's what i did i definitely plan to wear more than these 10 picks Throughout these 31 days, I mean, throughout my whole entire uh, nail polish collection, I think only 50 of them are about really Halloween themed. So I'm excited to say I did purchase the Zombie Claw Halloween Advent Calendar, so I will be unboxing that on my channel as soon as I get it. And just to say, I will be unboxing the whole thing. So um, if you guys did purchase it and don't want to see any spoilers, um, I'll try my best not to ruin it for any of you, but I'm definitely, I'm gonna open the whole thing. I'm super excited to add more festive picks for this time of year. Out of my 10, I'm definitely excited to wear Poltergeist, Corpse Flower, and KB Shimmer's Band Geek. They are so festive and just perfect for this brooding and fun time of year. Let me know what you guys plan to wear for this season. And if you have any of these picks, let me know as well. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.